finds McGonagall. McGonagall puts the afterburners on, keeps the ball in play. He's got Duffy, finds Duffy. Duffy rolls it under the path of Ben Doherty. Ben Doherty lines himself up, and it's just wide of Luke McNicholas's crossbar. The ball goes wide, and it's going to be a goal kick. The Sligo Rovers good, but aren't their play there, Donald? Yeah, again, Jamie down the left here. They're exploiting the space in behind there, so they're using his pace, and you know what? It, it, it's promising, it's promising. Yeah, ball comes back here. Duffy, Brandon felt on his shoulder. Referee waves play on to correct the decision, and my opinion for the referee is Brandon Kavna. That's great slips ball. it under the path of Jamie McGonagall. Yes, McGonagall Jamie. slips it under the advancing look, McNicholas. He has broken the deadlock in the 30th minute. Derry City won, Sligo nil. Great bit of play there, Donald, from Derry City. They totally unlocked the Sligo defence. And McGonagall got his just rewards because he's been in the mix, as I said, just moments ago. Opens the scoring in the 30th minute. And I did say to you, Colin, I want the Brandon Cabinet on a bit more, unlocking that defence. And Brandon gets on it there. We know what he can do, and he's got his head up there. Jamie McGonagall. The referee's done great there to allow play yeah. to go on. You know, I thought he was going to pull back to give a yellow card. I don't know if you remember the Sligo Rovers game. It was probably more remembered for the fact that Jamie McGonagall had the ball in the net before yeah. and that the goal was disallowed because they pulled the ball back for a free kick to Derry. Both teams in no hurry to get things back underway, but Maher eventually finds Kavna. Kavna forward. Ben Doherty's the furthest man for Derry City at the moment. Doherty brought down on the edge of the 18 yard box, and that's going to be a free kick. And Nando Pinyakar also goes under the, bu the book of Neil Doyle. So a couple of defenders would need to be careful as we approach half time. Maybe he could ask, was he the last man here? Maybe a red card? Well, Ben Doherty's looking over to well, the linesman who created the. the well, the anxiety you could see in the in the the, the Sligo's defence. Well, we've McMullen, who's who's just stepped away. He's probably wanted to make a name for himself on his debut. You've got Michael Duffy right footer, and you've got the two left footers of Ben and and uh, Brandon. Brandon, Kavna, yeah. Brandon. So I think it's a left footer. Brandon. Is it Michael? Brandon Kavna takes it immediately. Oh, oh and he's brought the best out of McNicholas. Save. Great save. And Great another save. corner. Yeah. As we're on. Just seen from the replay, Donald's exactly right because uh, he had. I think he didn't realise how much time he had. But game continues as Niall Morahan drags the ball away and slips it under the path of the advance and Danny Lafferty. Again. Lafferty up to the 18 yard box. Lafferty on his left foot gets his shot away, and that's a stunning goal from the former Derry City man, Danny Lafferty, to level things here in the 41st minute. It's Derry City 1, Sligo Rovers 1. So. Acres of room. Colin, I told you about this right back position, and I don't know whether it's Ronan. I, I need to look at this here. If he's pushing on to support, but the amount of space that's left in behind there, we've got sucked over onto this side. So Danny Lafferty. And Karen Hullman. Turns out too easy here. Ball gets played right out. Look, space in behind there. Ronan's caught too square. He's gone into the seven. Will Fitzgerald. That's a fine strike and they end up from Lafferty as well, Donald. And I, yes, but I think Blind as well. Yes. Cameron McJanet has handed the captain's armband to Patrick McElhaney, who picks it up from him. Finds patching, patching in a bit of space. We'll put the head down. He's got Ronan Boyce on the overlap. Ops for the first time shot on us, just wide of the upright. Great opportunity, but unfortunately, Will Patching, the Stockport man, just couldn't quite find the onion bag on that occasion. This is, you know, we'll get his head up and have a dip for 20 or 30 yards, and it's been talked about before, Colin, you know. So, I do think as well as we stop to give him Michael Duffy. Magalini over the top, just can't quite pick out Duffy. Domigan wants it back for Derry. Yeah, I think Ben Doherty, we can get out the other side. Clever ball from Patrick Magalini, finds Boyce. Boyce, I thought it was going to be first time when he slipped it on, but he's found Patrick. Patrick shifts on his left foot, gets his shot away. Oh, that's just wide and over the crossbar. But Will Patching, we've certainly seen the best of him there. As he done well, they shift from his right foot on to his left foot, got his shot away, and it was just over the crossbar of Luke McNicholas's goal. The score remains Jerry one, Sligo one. Yeah, Patching's done well, you know, and, 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 a, and a lot of people are lucky. Shimmies the hit with his right, turns back onto his left, and tries to bend it in the far corner. Hey, 
And I think the keeper was done there because, you know, he's keeping on target there. He's stretching across. But look, that's what Will can do, you know. People turn around and talk about him and probably doesn't do enough or whatever, but, you know, he's definitely a winner there for, you know. Oh, it's flicked on by Coley there. Look, he's, he's looking very laggy at the moment, so you would expect that uh, Higgins will make this up very, very soon as yeah. Will Patching advances forward for Derry City. Well, it, well, unless he's putting somebody in now, unless Roman Boyce comes back in here now into the centre half because it looks like he's too... Jim. Oh, it's just come off the upright. It was uh, Ben Doherty following Michael Duffy's intervention. He's done really, really well there, but... Ben Doherty has had a couple of shots tonight. He's brought the best out of Luke McNicholas in the opening stages as well in the 45 minutes at the start of this game. But it's just unfortunate there. It was well patching. He just sold the dummy there. He found McMullen. McMullen, McMullen picked out Duffy. And Duffy just slipped it under the pass of Doherty. And Doherty left footed. Yeah, oh, struck off it the well. upright. Struck it well. Doherty again, going to get an hour bite down at Doherty. Oh, it's just flashing right, and there's a shirt of a handball. And then yes. referee Neil Doyle. It's John Mahan who's the unfortunate victim of that. He just stuck out a hand. I hope we can get a replay of this because Neil Doyle immediately gone over to book John Mahan. John Mahan, a judge, to have handled the ball inside the 18-yard box. It's going to be a penalty to Derry City. As you see from the replay, it was Ben Doherty again. He had only one thing in his mind when he got under that 18-yard box. And yeah, he does throw yeah, an arm out, don't hands out. Yeah. 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 No doubt about it. Definite penalty. You know, over the last few weeks we've been giving out, we haven't been getting them decisions, so get right to get one here now. So you know, Ben Doherty will be the penalty taker. He's put the ball down, an opportunity to get two and two. Now, I see they've changed now. We went to bring on two attackers here. Doherty steps up, left footed. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, and it's just come off his head on the replay. But full credit to Luke McNicholas. It was a wonderful save. Mullen. Patching's at the back post. Ball's played forward. Mullen. Boyce gets ahead to it. Mark Conley can't quite do anything about it. McNicholas comes and plucks the ball away from the head of the advancing Cameron McJanet. Frantic stuff here at the Brandywell with about seven minutes remaining. Still one each at the Brandywell. I think that's... I'm hoping that we get another chance now, Colin, but impressed, very impressed. Ronan Boyce heads away, headed back by Wolf Fitzgerald. Patrick McElhinney, ball over the top, trying to find Cian Kavanagh. Cian does really well to hold off the attention of, of uh, Pinyakar, tries to steal inside, goes to ground, a referee again waves a penalty. I thought it was soft, Donald, but... Derry City will certainly take it, but he's, Kian Kavna, he was well, twisting and turning. Well. Uh, Nando Pinyakar and the referee Neil Doyle had a very clear view of that occasion. You can see, just see here, Kian does really well to hold off the attention of Pinyakar. He's done well, and then he's cut up back slips inside, inside there. Yes. Gets inside the 18-yard box, and I think Pinyakar was just leaning under him as he went down. down. But Will Patching taking the, the penalty. So ben Doherty's not going to get a second bite at it. So Will Patching, who's been out injured for a number of matches, gets an opportunity to grab the headlines here at the Brandywell in the closing stages of tonight's fixture between Derry City and Sligo Rovers. Patching takes two or three steps back. It'll be a right-footed shot. Luke McNicholas has already saved the penalty tonight. But Patching yes. makes absolutely no mistake from 12 yards out. Will Fitzgerald having spent the season here at Derry City. Long throw one. Reaches the six yard box. Cameron McJanet wins the header. I think that's, that's going to be a corner. corner. Yeah. It was John Mahan who went to ground following the clash between himself and Cameron McJanet. But the ball of judge they have come off the Derry player last. It's not the pressure that we need. Look, McNicholas forward as well for Sligo. John Russell throwing everything at the Derry defence at the moment. Everybody inside the 18-yard box. As uh, it's Max Matter with the final touch, and he can do nothing. Can't quite put it in play, and that's the final action of the evening. Neil Doyle blows the whistle to signal the end of the game. It's finished at the Brandywell. Derry City two, Sligo Rovers one. Well, certainly an emphatic end to the game. Derry haven't taken the lead in the first half through Jamie McGonigal on 30 minutes. He broke the deadlock 
after finding his way in behind the Sligo defence and slid the ball under Luke McNicholas. Danny Lafferty, 11 minutes later on 41, equalised for Sligo, having found a bit of space over on the left-hand side. He broke inside the 18-yard box and left-footed, drilled it past uh, Brian Maher in the Derry goal. So it was one apiece at half-time. A couple of substitutions from Rory Higgins, his men in the second half seen Will Patching, Patrick McLaney and Danny Mullen introduced. Ben Doherty missed a penalty, but then the second penalty that was awarded by Neil Doyle, Will Patching placed the ball on the spot, and in the 95th minute he sealed all three points for Derry City. Very happy faces in red and white, Donald. But yeah, and, a, a and very evenly contested game of football, you could say. Yeah.